One of my friends wanted to know how to make an end screen, so let me show you. So to make an end screen, click the pencil icon near the video you want to add an end screen to. On the right, you will see the end screen icon. Click that. And you'll see a variety of pre-made options to choose from, uh, which is as simple as clicking it. And you'll see they will place the videos automatically in place. My end screen has been labeled to suit that setting. So this one will be the most recent. This will be best for viewer. This one will be a playlist. And this one will be a subscribe button. And if you tick this box, you will see where it will cover your end screen when it shows details about your channel. So I'm going to change that completely get rid of every element so I can show you how to do it from scratch if you so wanted to so your icon is already instantly this plus element icon you can click anywhere and you have the options of putting in one of your videos or anyone's video one of your playlists or anyone's playlist a subscribe button and a channel button which won't be yours as well as a link which is new today i'll show you how to do one of everything so i will click video and i'm going to put it here so you can choose between most recent best for viewer or a specific video and that's really helpful when you want someone to go from one video to the next or a similar topic and you want to control which is here because perhaps you've mentioned it earlier on or right now in your outro so you can select that and you have a list of videos to choose from that you have on your channel. You can also search any video on YouTube here if you like. And you can put any kitten video here at the end. So if you don't want one of these options because you've made a mistake, you can just edit it here or you can delete it or change it here. I'm going to delete that and show you the next element we can do. Uh, let's choose playlist. So you can choose one of yours or you can search any playlist on YouTube as well. You can also click and choose subscribe and they can subscribe to your channel. You can also add another channel. Say if you did a collaboration or just want to pay it forward, you can write another channel and it will show up and you can drag that any way you like. And the hover screen will adjust. Now, if you want to add in a link, this screen will pop up and you just click I accept. And you can add another site. This one is ineligible and it can show you the approved websites you can use, but I'm not going to do that today. Also, what I didn't mention, say we choose a video, you can drag it anywhere on the screen, but you cannot have elements overlapping. You can also adjust the size Say for example, if you want to have two big videos and you don't want this there, you can easily take up more of the screen so it looks a bit balanced. You can have them like this or like that, whatever you like. So now that I've showed you how to do it manually, I'll show you how to do it with one click. Boom. Done. <laughs> My outro template is labeled according to these. So the most recent is under latest, for you is under best for viewer. Over here is my aliens playlist, which is automatically picking the right one uh, because I already had one prior. And here is my subscribe button. You can also change the timing of each card. So here I've currently got one at a time showing, but say you have the end screen showing right from the start. So you want them to show immediately you just need to drag them all to the start. Say you mention one video on this part of your outro and then you mention another one here. You can easily end this one when you show the next one. So it will go from one video to the next and you can overlap them that way. And they seamlessly can change from one video to the next as you point to it, say on the side or whatever you do. But for this example, I'm going to do them all like this and now they're overlapping. You just have to move it over. You could have them end sooner if you like. You can do whatever you want. There's so much flexibility. 
and you can have them all start and stop there and say stop and then it goes away for the last portion it's up to you there is quite a bit of flexibility the only issue is you can't go over 20 seconds that is your maximum time for an outro so i hope this tutorial helped once you're happy with it just click save and you're done thank you so much for watching don't hesitate to subscribe I don't really make tutorials here but I have today to help a friend and I have made my own outro here as you can see. If anything tickles your fancy don't hesitate to click on it. I have four other channels if you want to check them out. Otherwise have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye!